This is easily the most uncomfortable I've ever been making a video. So let's talk about getting out of your comfort zone and talking to a camera in a public location. And you're probably gonna notice that I am uncomfortable. This is new for me even, but I realized that it's something that needs to be done. I need to be able to get out of my comfort zone and get into public locations and film these videos because I'm not always gonna be in a studio. Now, I apologize if there's a lot of noise in the background, but it's not about the background noise. It's not about the distractions. I want to talk to you about being able to film and not be nervous and the five steps that i use to do this that i'm still trying to do to get a little bit better with it and I'll grow a little bit more it's not as easy as it seems but once you can kind of mentally get over it you'll be okay now there are people all around me uh, i'm sitting in a front booth in a window but there are people table next to me table in front of me table behind me and here's the thing with it though is Although they may look at you a little odd because you're talking to a camera, they don't really care. These people aren't going to really judge you and it doesn't matter. Uh, you're, you have to remember that you're creating content for the people who are watching, the people who do care. So if you get into these spots and you get nervous and you, you, you don't end up filming or you move to a back corner. Now, if you can move to a back corner, that's fine. But it shows a lot more dedication if you literally just sit down with your coffee and sit right up front in front of everyone as people are ordering and enjoy your coffee and create some content. So like I said, what I wanna do is I wanna get into the five ways that will better help you talk in public, be a public speaker, get in front of a camera, talk to a camera. And these actually will even work in a studio or in your office. This is more based around how to be comfortable in front of a camera and how to talk and show your face and not be afraid and worried about what people are thinking. Because like I said, you're creating content for the people who are watching it. If they don't wanna watch you, they won't. They'll, they'll go to another video. So remember that the people who are watching you, they don't want you to fail. They don't want you to um and uh your way through it. They want you to be successful because they're learning from you. They're not spending their time watching someone that they don't appreciate. So that's the first tip. And that's not even one of the five tips. That's just the first tip that I can give you is they don't wanna see you fail. They wanna see you succeed. So let's actually get into the first five. And the first one that I wanna talk about is actually just talking to the camera like it's your friend. I'm in this coffee shop. I have had a hundred meetings in this coffee shop with friends, with clients. The point is, is just talk to the camera like you're holding a conversation with a friend, like you're sitting down having coffee with a friend, talking to someone. Now I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which makes it a lot more comfortable because it's a very small camera. I don't have this big like gorilla pod and camera and microphone and all of that. But for the most part, this is easy. This is your friend. This is who you're talking to. This is who you're having a conversation with. And the way that I film it is I actually take pauses. Now I cut the pauses out, but I take pauses like someone's talking back to me, like I'm holding a conversation because you don't just talk the whole time of a conversation. You have to listen to them as well. So that's what I do is I take a pause like they're talking and then I come back in and I talk and I, and I answer the question that they imaginarily asked me. So just continue to hold the conversation like they're your friend. Like it's just you talking to someone that you know. Now my camera's a little low so it'd be a shorter friend. But that's that's what I mean is, is just try not to make it awkward like you're talking to a camera. I have a friend of mine, her name is Heather. And I'll actually link her down below. But we had this conversation once and she was like, the only way that I can talk to my camera is if I put a scrunchie on the end of the lens with some googly eyes on it. And I'm pretty sure she still does that to this day when she's doing talking head videos is she actually makes her camera look like a person. That way she can talk to it. So do what you need to do to, to get comfortable in front of a camera. But once you do, it comes a lot more natural. The second thing you can do is actually script out what you're going to say or make bullet points. That way that you don't really ramble on and you don't go off topic. If you are uncomfortable in front of a camera talking to it in public, then go ahead and script it out. That way you say what you need to say and that's it. You get your points across and then you're out of there. That way you're not being super nervous. But 
I don't script a lot of my stuff. I write down bullet points on what I want to talk about and then I kind of go from there and and kind of just do what I need to do and say what I need to say from there. Now that comes from years of doing this and years of experience, but it's one of those things that you kind of just build and you grow over the years. So script out what you need to say, write bullet points, do what you need to do to make this as smooth and as easy as you possibly can. And yeah, the glare that's coming in is people walking in the front door because I am literally right in front of the front door. I thought to myself, where could I do this that I would be the most uncomfortable? Uh, and I was like, let's pick the front table right as people are coming in, as people are walking by, and let's just talk. So the next thing that you can do is practice your eye contact with your lens. If, if you feel uncomfortable with people being around or with even if you're in an office or in your bedroom or wherever you are making your videos, if you just make direct eye contact with your camera the whole time, you'll be a lot more comfortable. It'll feel a lot better to you, it'll make you a little bit more comfortable. Now with that being said, if you're not kind of looking around, it doesn't feel as natural to watch the video because when you talk to someone, people look around, people, you know, kind of get sidetracked and look around and stuff. But if you need to look right at the camera the entire time, go for it. I would suggest trying not to look at your screen that's like playing the video back because then sometimes it can get a little distracting like your eyes are looking down the whole time. So just make contact right with the end of your lens, the little circle if you're using the Osmo, and just look right at it and just hold a conversation. It's that simple. And even if you're not recording and you're at home, set your camera up and just practice. Just practice looking right at the camera, practice talking, practice being that person that's just holding a conversation with a friend and you're looking right into the friend's eyes. So that leads into the next topic is go ahead and practice, rehearse without filming. Write down your script or your bullet points and just sit there in front of the camera, whether you're at home in your, in your bedroom or wherever you are, and just talk. Just go over what you need to say and then go out to your location that you want to film. If it's in a public place or it's a park or you're walking down the street or whatever you want to do, just go ahead and practice and get everything down before you do it. I practice all the time on the videos that I'm going to make because I want them to be as smooth as possible when I make them. So go ahead and write them down, script it out, go ahead and practice. Do it a couple times, go through it. That way you're working out the kinks and all this, the, the weird ums and uhs, like I said, and you're just delivering the content that you need to deliver. And the last one that I can give you is loosen up beforehand. And what I mean by that is do some breathing exercises or listen to some music that relaxes you. Uh, get yourself a coffee, sit down, drink half the coffee. Now you'll probably get a little bit of jitters, but uh, do what you need to do to relax and get in the mental state to create content. Uh, that is probably one of the most important that I can say is when you get into the mental state where you're ready to just make content and you've probably even seen it throughout this video that as the video goes on, I get way less uncomfortable. So get, do what you need to do. My comfortable state is creating content. So the more that I do it, the longer that I create these videos, the more comfortable I get in them. So the end of my videos are usually in my most comfortable spot. So that's why I usually batch create and I'll create a couple of them because if I can do the first one and get all the nerves out, then I get comfortable, I get in my happy place and then I can create two, three, four, five more videos. So those are the five tips. Uh, I do want to leave you with a bonus tip. Before I do, if you want to grow more, I left a link down in the description down below to the Photo Hustlers Blueprint. Check that out. It's my three secret tips to growing your social media content and growing your business as a photographer online to becoming full-time in six months without going broke in the process. It's a completely free video. You can check it out down below. Link is down there. And I think that it will definitely help you out. Now, before we go, I want to leave you with a little bonus tip. Uh, don't overthink it. Don't worry about what people think. Uh, don't worry about being in public talking. Uh, like I said, nobody really matters as far as the people that are around you. Uh, they're not judging you. They don't really care. They may be kind of like put off by it a little bit. Like, why is this guy filming in public? What is he doing? Uh, but it's become so natural these days. There are so many vloggers and YouTubers and people who are creating content that it's just a natural thing now it's it's not any different than seeing somebody with their cell phone taking a selfie these days so don't overthink it uh, your audience is here for you they want to learn from you they want you to be successful the people that are around you that are judging you don't matter right? and if the people that are seeing this video don't want to watch it they won't they'll go somewhere else so go ahead create the content 
be successful get out there make your success and while you're at it go ahead and watch this video because youtube thinks that you would really enjoy it i do too and i'll see you in the next video deuces